Hi guys, it's Gordon at Averlight. I am going to show you the basics of how to work with Keyframe Shape Generator, which is a really powerful effects engine inside Type. With all of these shapes and effects generators that we have, we can get into them using SoftKey D. This time I'm going to tackle SoftKey C, Keyframe Shapes. So keyframe Shapes pays attention to your group layout. So if you haven't had a look at this with the fixtures that you're using, now is a perfect opportunity. I have, I know they're happy, so I can tap create. Here, Keyframe Shape Generator will give you full access to everything inside your console. So I can grab these fixtures and I can say, one of the things that I'd like in the first frame is these fixtures to be off. Rather than it working the same way as putting normal values into the programmer, where this attribute would be highlighted and the entire channel will be highlighted. There's just a little blue dot on the left hand side. Now if I add a frame, you can see that this first playback I have has got the keyframe one, the dimmer at zero. I then like to add a frame with the dimmer at 100% for these fixtures. So I've put that up to 100% and I can add a frame. As soon as I'm happy with these, I can tap soft key G finish recording frames. Here on the screen, you can see the transition in between frame one, which is that dimmer at zero, and frame two, which is that dimmer at 100%. You can see the fixtures are also achieving this. Inside this effects editor window, if I wanted to add any more frames or any more layers, or indeed any more keyframe shapes, I have the same options as inside the pixel mapper at the bottom of the screen. If I tap add, I can see that I can add a pixel map effect. I can add a completely new keyframe shape inside this one, or I can add a new layer. For now, I'm just gonna add a new layer. My lights have located again, so they're ready for some new instructions. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt these beam lights that I have fully down. I'm gonna add a frame, and then I'm gonna tilt them fully up. and I'm gonna add a frame. If I tap finish recording frames, now on the screen, you will see that the transitions in between the dimmer at zero and the dimmer at 100 are on the top section of the screen. This next layer that I made, that is the frame where I have the lights pointing down and that's the frame where I have the lights pointing up. On any of these frames, I can choose this curve icon on the right hand side of it to change whether it goes from a normal crossfade to an ease start or end, ease both, bounce or snap. If I choose this, then you can see that frame one to frame two here is going to snap. So it's gonna snap from the dimmer being at zero to the dimmer being at 100. You can see that now when my lights are coming down, the intensity is on and when my lights are going up, the intensity is off. I can spread this effect and I can change the direction to pretty much whatever I would like. If I put this direction and this spread on there, then the console is gonna work out based on the group layout, how to send this information out, do all that hard work for you. So now I have this effect going on. Soon as I'm happy with the keyframe shape that I have made, I can tap record and record as always by channel fixture or stage and then tap on an available playback. If I wanted to edit any one of these frames for any reason, I can tap on this little pencil icon on the frame that I'm working on. Here you can see that my lights have gone to that exact position and I have the option to replace the frame or delete the frame. If I'm happy, I can tap finish recording frames as always inside keyframe shape generator. If I change the direction at this point, it will record that new information for me. So you can now see that this keyframe shape has changed look and I can record again, job done. Now if I clear and exit all this information from the programmer, that was the first keyframe shape that I made. And this is the second keyframe shape that I made. There's no need to clear and exit and start from scratch every single time. You can carry on working inside the keyframe shape generator 
up until you're happy. I could then combine this with some of the other effects that I already have programmed into my show to create some really interesting visual looks. Thanks for watching guys and tune in to the next one.